Belgium may be small, but it is filled with attractions. Brussels' UNESCO-recognized sites span from the 14th century guild halls encircling the beautiful Grand Palace to the Art Nouveau townhouses of Victor Horta from the early 20th century. This video is all about Belgium, its attractions, and what you can do on your visit. From exploring the city's many farmers markets and modern exhibits to your afternoon admiring the landscape, guys, make sure you watch till the end. Honestly, Belgium is home to many amazing sights and all the chocolates that you shouldn't miss. Did you know Belgium has three official languages? Most know about Dutch and French, but a small portion of the country speaks German, about 1%. But let's get on with it. We have a list of the best things to do in Belgium, including the most popular tourist attractions. Number 5. Eat some of the delicious Belgian chocolate. Tasting the delectable local chocolate never fails to appear on the list of things to do in Belgium. Almost every town in Belgium has its chocolate store, where recipes are frequently passed down through the centuries. This culture of chocolate production and refinement is admired across the world. Belgian chocolate is renowned as the finest chocolate available. According to estimates, Belgium produces around 220,000 tons of chocolate annually. Number 4. The Waterways of Bruges Bruges was founded on the River Rai, and as the city developed, a succession of canals was constructed to connect it to the Zwin Estuary and the North Sea. Today, the canals of Bruges are lovely reminders of the city's past, and a canal tour is one of the most popular ways to visit the city. From March to November, and less frequently in the depths of winter, sightseeing boat rides depart from five piers located around the main canal in the city center every half hour, and less frequently in the depths of winter, with journeys meandering along the length of the main canal. This is one of the best possibilities to photograph Bruges' well-known canal-side terraced houses and some of the city's finest structures. Tours operate regardless of weather conditions, and umbrellas are given by the tour boat operator when it rains. No reservations are required for public sightseeing boat cruises. Arrive at the pier and purchase your ticket upon boarding. Number 3. The Beguinage of Bruges This majestic belfry, formerly known as Belfort Met Biard, dominates Bruges' central square and is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Belgium. This tower dates to the 13th century and is adjacent to a structure that originally served as the town's principal market hall. It has been well preserved, giving visitors a taste of the Middle Ages' architectural prowess. Climbing the 366 twisting and narrow stairs of the belfry to the 83-meter-high observation deck is one of Belgium's most popular tourist activities. Once atop the hill, the views of church spires and steeple roofs create one of the nation's most famous vistas. Number 2. Ghent's Gravenstein and Old Town this enormously spectacular fort was formerly the stately residence of the Counts of Flanders, who drew inspiration for castle construction from the massive castles erected by crusaders in Syria. Today, Gravenstein is one of Europe's most well-preserved examples of a moated stronghold and one of the world's best-preserved examples. Its exceptionally thick and high walls rise from the waters of the River Leave in the heart of Ghent's ancient city, towering over the rooftops of surrounding streets. The wide-arched hallways and rooms within the castle feature displays of medieval life, but the castle's architecture is the show's true star. Climb the stairway to the roof for sweeping views of the city before taking a stroll around Ghent's lovely cobblestone streets. Number 1. Townhouses in the Horta Museum Horta was the most prominent architect and designer of the Art Nouveau style of the early 20th century. Several of his magnificent structures remain in Brussels, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Begin at the Horta Museum, housed in his old home and workshop, which have been maintained as he intended, with the original stained glass, mosaics, and woodwork. Horta was a pioneer in this artistic movement that utilized and diffused natural light and integrated natural motifs into its sinuous forms. Horta's aesthetic included every aspect of building and decorating, from the house's architecture to its furnishings and even the ornamentation on doorknobs. The UNESCO site also includes his four principal town residences, including Mason and Atelier Horta, Hotel Tassel, Hotel Savoy, and Hotel Van Eetveld. Address 23-25 Rue Americaine, St. Gillis, Brussels. This is just a small list of what Belgium has to offer. 
If you want to learn more about this city, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on all the latest updates.